Hello and thank you for joining us on the midweek edition of Journalist Hangout. I'm Ayodele Zubaku. Today on the program, Dangote warns that Nigeria is running late for economic diversification as finance minister tells Nigerians to brace up for life without oil. Governor Makide signs a Motekun bill into law, wants criminals to stay away from Southwest. And later on the show, federal government summons ASU to a meeting over strike regarding IPPIS. I'll be hanging out with Babajide Koladeo Titoju and Dari Utufawoko. So if you're ready, let the hangout start now. Thank you for joining us once again. Our knack for poor planning means we always rely on calamities to jolt us into action. As a country, the president of Dangote Group and Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, has warned Nigeria that it is running late for economic diversification. Speaking at a function in Abuja, Dangote said that diversification of the Nigerian economy needs to be achieved urgently following crash in the price of crude oil. The finance minister Zainab Ahmed is echoing the same warning. Zainab, who said governments may have to adjust the 2020 budget, which was based on a crude oil price of $57 per barrel, stressed that it is a wake-up call for Nigeria to look forward to life without oil. Babajide, when we started out in 2020, and when we passed that budget, we projected $57 per barrel. And as at the time of the production, uh, that projection, we're overing between $72, $69 per barrel. We never knew that the controversy between Russia and Saudi Arabia is going to crop up. We never knew that we are going to have coronavirus threatening the peace of the world. Now we are doing 30 something dollars per barrel. And somebody projected that before the end of this year, is likely we do sub $20 per barrel. That amount to almost nothing. We are going to be running a budget of big deficits in 2020. If, if that happens, we'll go straight into recession. Hmm. There's no way we'll be able to escape it. If it happens and um, it endures, even if it's for maybe like five months or so, we're in trouble. Because how do you slip into recession if you have back to back? negative growth. You easily slip into recession. We slipped into recession in 2016. And it was because we didn't have the shock absorbers. Countries that were wiser than us, yeah. they were keeping so much money in form of the sovereign wealth fund. Yeah. We didn't think we should save anything. Some ministers today some, some of the current ministers we have today mm. were the ones who were shouting on the rooftops that nobody as don't we, save the as money. As opposition governors, then yes, and they were referring to the to the first uh, few lines of the constitution that says that that says all okay, the money, all monies made by the federation, the, yes, must be shared between the three tiers of government. So must. if the, if mm. the people who framed our constitution didn't think that it was right to put it there that Nigeria must save. So sensible people should not know that it makes sense to save. Excess crude account will go there, will, will pipe pressure on the president, the share it. Uh, this one, share it. All that one, share it. We had no shock absorbers. The little hmm. money that we put there in front of the sovereign wealth fund is what was used to start the uh, second Niger Bridge uh, project. Because we are, we are broke. I think we have less than $70 million there now. No, it's been depleted. We are depleting mm. even the excess crude account. We are not showing enough discipline to even to, 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 to keep some. We are just spending. We are a nation that spends. We, are, we should be a nation that puts great ascent on production. Mm. So this is the thing. Today, you see a country, look, go and look at how much Norway has saved in front of the so, sovereign, in front of sovereign wealth, fund, uh, wealth fund. Norway, even Ghana that began to save money in the sovereign wealth fund after us, hmm. they've overtaken us. 
because we just believe, let us just share the money. Once the money comes, everybody rushes to Abuja, let us share. Mm -hmm. Yes, the money belongs to the three tiers, but we should be able to save for the rainy day. Because when you save and you suffer the kind of problems that we face when, when the crisis of, the, of oil mm. crashed, you'll be able to defend your currency. Mm. You'll be able to defend your currency with the buffers that mm. you have created in form of the monies that you have saved. That's what Saudi Arabia too faced the same problem that we faced because they, are, they too depend uh, largely on oil. The, the, the only uh, problem is that they produce far more than we produce. They have the capacity to produce. If they want, they can produce 18 million barrels a day. We are doing just a little over 20, uh, 2 billion. I mean, uh, 2 million. Mm -hmm. They can produce 18 million barrels a day if they want. Mm -hmm. And they also ref they have refineries dedicated simply for export of refined petrol. They have many active big refineries. We are unable to add to the refineries that we, we have built so donkey years. Uh, all, all these years. Mm -hmm. so, so this is the problem that we have. Dangote is talking about this. Even me as a little boy, I've been hearing about diversification purification of the economy. We did it in economics, but we are not seeing it happening. And mm. that, that time will come when the whole world will move away from dependence on oil. Mm. The mm. Americans have shown us that mm. uh, later on, they won't be buying from oil. Larry, and in fairness to these governments, when you look at successive administration, you will say that this government has done, you know, have, they've made efforts in trying to make sure that that word diversification comes to reality as per the growth of the agri agriculture sector, as per the growth in the you know, non-oil sector, like revenue collection, customs, the federal land revenue, just to make sure that they get Holy attention nice. from the monopoly of the oil. They might not have done enough, but do you agree that they've done something? To boost our idea, I'll say yes. But that's not what we talk about when we speak about diversification. It's more uh, profound than that. Diversification has to do with our economy, holistically. If we don't sell oil, what else are we selling? In large quantity, that can effectively help stabilize our economy should oil run into trouble. Can we conveniently say we have anything like that now? The answer is no. Yes, agriculture. For, to feed ourselves and reduce importation, mm. this government, I mean, did a lot. To feed ourselves. I call it uh, uh, subsistence agriculture in the recent sense of it. As a nation, it is just to sustain us and reduce what we import in the mm. food sector. But there are so many other areas we could have looked at. Look at where we really could have tapped in. Mineral resources. Left, left, I mean, nothing done about it. But do you know why we have those problems? For mm -hmm. any government to be able to say we are trying in the area of diversification, it will be that government that will tackle our power problem. Because a lot of the things we want to do in that sector, if we must diversify, mm -hmm. we will need power, mm -hmm. stable electricity. Mm -hmm. For us as a country, we cannot produce, not because we don't have what we can produce, not because we don't have the people who can produce it, not even because we don't have the capacity, but because we don't have power. People produce handkerchiefs now in China, bring it home to Nigeria to sell, and they tell you it's cheaper to bring it in from China than to, to produce it locally. I know of friends uh, who are in the business of producing flags, Nigerian flags, bank flags, and all that for these uh, banks. And I tell you, they import finished product of Nigerian flags. Mm. The UBA flag, this other name brand, name all the banks. They go to China, produce it, bring it to Nigeria. Mm. It is cheaper. So if we have that kind of scenario where we cannot even produce the things we need locally, how are we going to encourage or sustain diversification? The implication of all this to us is we are left unwillingly relying on oil because we just don't have any other option. Now look at what is happening. We don't even have the foreign reserves. 
the sovereign wealth fund is not where you will find us. And the situation leaves us in a situation where, where I mean, it, 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 we may just slip into recession willingly. Because if this continues for the next uh, five months and we cannot fund this uh, year's budget, we begin to look at next year budget as already threatened, even before we, I mean, put it together. And when we have, we have such a situation, no matter the number of experts you have, hmm. you are already self-defeated. And that's the situation I find ourselves as a nation. Hmm. Until we take very serious the issue of revitalizing the power sector in this country oh, in preparation okay. for okay. diversification. That's when we move forward. But at what point in time did we, you know, did we become this country that is so dependent on oil? You know, I remember I wasn't born as at that time, but I used to remember talking about the um, Granon Pyramid, yes. talking about what you have in the sixties. Mm, cocoa and co. But I still met some in you know, those states. Anytime it's December, my grandfather, it's harvest period for them. They sell to big multinationals, get money and everything. So at what point in time did all our concentration and attention? The moment um, I can say from the time the military took over. I can say because Whatever anybody will say about those uh, first support big politicians, that rep represents, in my view, the best period for our country in terms of what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Because we are among the greatest producers in the world of different cash crops. Mm -hmm. Cotton, was competition. Cotton, um, uh, um, palm fruits, cocoa. cocoa. We were, how did I, I will all build all of this. This is Keja. I will mm. all build a Keja with proceeds from Kuku. Mm. I will all set up, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, NT, uh, uh, the TV station mm. in uh, Ibadan. Ibadan. Yes. And we had that TV station before some European countries even had television. It was it was the money from, uh, from Kuku now. The whole, this estate, and he, not only did he do that, we, we were my board estate, all of those places, all those those uh, the industrial uh, mm. uh, layout, mm. and he also created means by which they can uh, ferry what they are producing by uh, by connecting rail to to that area. Mm. But it's we just a, a, a country that used so much of non oil uh, stuff mm. to 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 build bridges and all of this in Lagos suddenly. We started telling ourselves that look, we really don't need those ones anymore. I always said, even where they used to stack those granite uh, pyramids, where mm. they had them, they turned it to get down, get one car, filling one car in Kano. We are the people, these washermen, local washermen, where they were washing clothes. Later on, one time like that, when I went to Kano, I saw that they were displaying Tokumbo cars there. <laughs> no, not one pyramid anymore. So we did it to ourselves. Whereas we see a country like uh, U UAE, despite the fact that they have so much oil, they still choose to focus on mm -hmm. tourism. tourism. Why? Dubai, they don't even have oil in Dubai. Why? But Why? Tourism. Why? They don't focus on they, this, what they're focusing on. It's not as if they don't have. They make money. But I, it, 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 because they used to go to Lebanon, they now told themselves that, ah, why should we be going to Lebanon if we develop our own country? Mm. We won't need to go to, to Lebanon. It's finer than Lebanon. It's Today, oh, you can't even mm. compare okay. them. I have my first caller. Jinka is calling from Ogba in Lagos State. Jinka, thank you for joining Hello. us. Jinka, are you still Hello. there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, go ahead with your contribution, please. Okay, okay. Good, good, good evening. Good evening, Jinka. Mm. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, thank you very much. Good evening to all of you in the studio. Thank you. I'm here. I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. My my. I think the problem of Nigeria has to do with the problem of Nigeria has to do with ex exclusive. This is what we call exclusive and concurrent list in our constitution. We need to do something about exclusive and concurrent list. There is there is no point having having an exclusive list for federal government when federal government is doing anything. Uh, go to Oshun State now. They have a lot of gold. Zamfara has a lot of gold. Why are people not tapping the resources under the ground in their different states? Why do we have to wait for federal government to give us license to do anything? 
It's not doing anything. Okay, you guys are talking it. about our, our structure. Yeah. Mm. It's um, every, what in those days, our could use the resources. Yes, for his own region uh, yes, to build his region. His region. Yeah, he doesn't you know, need to. Nice. Yes, you know that's the point that he's making. He's making. And I've, uh, that our structure. The governor of the north is that I was discussing with who was who was was also complaining. That can you imagine they will tell you that you cannot uh, take this uh, solid mineral and make money for your state out of it? You know, I know that a time will come when our country is restructured, when this will become a thing of the past. Yeah. But the point is, countries must look within and see how uh, to develop other sources of revenue generation. Mm. Because this monoproduct economy that mm. we have is not in anybody's interest. It's not in anybody's mm. interest, and we are feeling it. The moment uh, anything happens to oil, and unfortunately, oil is a very volatile security product. Mm. Look at gold, for example, or diamond. The price is constant. The kind of volatility that you suffer, you know, from oil, mm. it doesn't happen in uh, the, uh, the gold market. Mm. The gold, diamond, the price is always stable. You know what to get. You know what to expect. But when it comes to oil, today somebody can just abuse uh, the, or threaten the president of Iran, and there will be a problem. Mm. There will be a problem. Mm. So that is the thing. Look at how can... How can um, the Russians be threatening that they will be producing 30,000, uh, yeah, I mean, 30 million, uh, this thing? They're they, not OPEC members, though. If they produce 30 million uh, liters, I mean, uh, 30 million barrels a day, the price will crash mm -hmm. terribly. And they are, they are already threatening that they will, they will produce it because they know that uh, Iran, Saudi Arabia, they all have capacity to produce. 10 million barrels a day if they want. Hmm. So, so Russia is saying, look, we can produce uh, 30 million barrels a day. If that happens, so we are, we are, we are in trouble. Larry, in, in forum of what you see, now I think the money during the military was Jilly said, it was like a very lazy way out, fast buck. So he, he immediately you get the money, immediately you go, no, at the point in time, we even stopped refining our crude oil. Mm -hmm. Our refineries we went we down. Them to die. So we just had to just take um, crude oil, uh, uh, export collect it, and collect oil. refined one, and move on with our life like and that. And then that's how we have been. Uh, I, I, I can remember my old man talking about what she calls Owojoji every time. Anytime she wants to complain about where Nigeria is now, you say it started from the so moment uh, the military released money to civil servants in bulk. So, oh, we have so much. Last year of that money, uh, my dad's, uh, 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 my dad's vendor uh, bought a bicycle uh, from that money. Dodgy award came. <laughs> but then he, he used so to, he used to she, try she, to sell uh, the newspapers to us. She said in those days. it was so it affected everybody. Yeah, yeah, yes, the money was yes. just there, yes. and then they said, see, according to. Ah, and our colleague said the then president or head of state said the money is there, our problem is uh, how to spend, spend it. it. Mm. Now, you know, it's like they did salary increase mm. or something, and there was so much money, and everybody became lazy. Hmm. Most people who were, you see, finished university and said, Look, I want to be a producer of one good or the other, they saw what civil servants were being paid, they started applying to be civil servants. So, uh, small scale industries started dying. Hmm. The zeal of the average Nigerian to produce something, to be a manufacturer, hmm. to be a businessman, started dying. Everybody wanted to work for government because there was hmm. so much money to throw hmm. around. The result of that hmm. is what we have today. We produce nothing, rather, we import everything. And now, now that somebody in the mode of uh, Dangote, a capitalist, a businessman who understands the danger of a mono economy. He's telling you, look, diversify now. 
Look at him. We can it's take a look at him. He's diversifying. He's a shoe. He's he's selling flour. He's almost everything. everything. Yeah. so smart mm -hmm. that if he sees that this line of business is not doing well, he, he moves. moves. He there was attention. a time that he used to do textile now. Yes. When he saw that uh, smugglers were going to kill him, he left the textile. Um, he he had, he, his textile farm was the fourth largest in the country. Oh. I asked him, I said, why? He said, do you want he, them to he kill He saw me? the problem. He ran away. He saw the you problem know? coming. So, so now he, you can see whether we like it or not, we'll build houses, we'll build bridges, we'll build roads. And then he's, so, and he's selling cement. Uh, and he's concentrating. Uh, outside Nigeria, he's selling mm. cement. So, so, so I, I would say he's qualified to offer that That's advice. No, you know what he said one day? He mm. said, see, he said, the experience that I have, mm. they don't teach him it at an Harvard Business School. He that, said he, he said he could teach them at the Harvard Business School. How to do business. When he spoke to me, I then called the then um, uh, um, uh, president of uh, Guild of Editors mm. and said, let us organize for uh, Dangote to be doing a kind of a uh, lecture for journalists to, uh, every year. Because when you hear him talking about Brazil, about uh, mm. you, you just wonder that ah, this man, yeah, because yeah. he has so much of And he's from, from mm. experience. Yes. Mm. So at the point, Practical he was almost yeah. synonymous with sugar. Mm. They realize that everybody is saying sugar, less salt. sugar. It doesn't go for what you don't need. Yes. Sugar, salt, yes. you must. You you must, must what, when we were growing up, it was one cook sugar that uh, we had uh, a lot of It was but only before sugar. Before you did, Dango <laughs> Sugar came and you <laughs> diversified the entire sector. So he is eminently qualified to offer that advice. If he as an individual. He has done it in a very uh, polite way. In not a polite manner. Him, but I can tell you that he and like many other business people, they don't like what's going on. They don't, and they are threatened too. If, if you look at in Lagos now, how can businesses, manufacturers, be spending their own money, twenty point eight billion every month, fueling generators? Twenty point eight. But every month here in Lagos, manufacturers. Manufacturers yeah, here in Lagos. Manufacturers, uh, so manufacturers big, Nigeria. big uh, companies like flour mills, yeah. like uh, Wemco. They are not. They are not uh, taking. Uh, they, uh, even for Coca they are not taking. Uh, uh, they are not mm. using public electricity because it can go anytime. They know it's not stable. They it's know. not. It's not reliable. So when you have a running cost of twenty percent, so uh, what profit will you make? So will you now blame those? How uh, can this stimulate economic growth? Will you now blame those uh, exporting finished products? I tell you, there are people here producing. Uh, that was the time I saw. They are exporting uh, uh, bottle soup, water soup to us now. Soup, yes. soup now. Yes. Uh, goosey soup. Yes. They are exporting it. Jollof rice. I saw, I saw it in one. I saw it in one uh, what do you call mall? Yes, is there a uh, goosey soup? Yes, they are exporting. And it's written there that from China, and I became afraid. A uh, goosey is. <laughs> Did you see the video of the China man who was saying that look, uh, uh, we can make a goosey soup, and he was saying, oh, it, it that's where we are. He can't. started when I first saw processed palm oil. Mm. Exported to Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. I said uh, our country is cost. And because then, yeah, yeah, we the gave the Malaysia that exported they the processed palm oil. Because yeah. from our seedlings that they took to their they country. They took the seedlings from here. Now we can see so they, they are sending it to us processed. Apart. And then there, there is also this uh, 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 my, my powdered uh, bean cake. Uh. You find it in all the most. The first thing we should do is can't we make legislations against such? Things you can find locally, mm. then you now import it, killing our own local uh, industry. We must begin to wake up. We cannot successfully diversify mm. until we encourage local producers. We must find ways the of local, encouraging these local producers. Uh, local producers who are not, they don't get uh, okay. enough loans. Okay, this is the live feed from Kano. This is the presentation of appointment letter to the new Emir of Kano. Aminu Adebayo, live from Kano. Ibrahim Isa is uh, there in Kano, I think, witnessing this. I think um, it is Governor Abdullah Ganduje that will be doing that. I can see the Commissioner for Information. Yes. Uh, Mohamed Garuba. Yes. The former president of the Nigerian Union of Journalists. Of journalists. Yes. And yesterday he paid a visit to um, the villa. Babajide, to yeah. meet with President Mamadou Bouari. Yes. The new Emir yeah. actually paid the visit to the villa to see President Mamadou Bouari. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a new dawn for the new dawn in Kano. In Kano. Uh, the people in Kano. And um, like they, 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 yeah, they, I, I actually they did the right thing by choosing a popular person. Mm -hmm. This this fellow is well loved by young people 
Ghana. By the generality of the people, mm -hmm. by the kingmaker. So the first mm -hmm. thing to, that they did to make sure that there is no violence mm -hmm. was to go for someone mm -hmm. well loved. Someone they yes. probably yeah. wanted so to stabilize. If you remember what happened the last time, they were mm -hmm. destroying uh, buildings and everywhere. They were setting houses ablaze because they didn't like the fact that yeah, uh, Sanusi the... uh, was made emir. When mm. in fact the kingmakers had nominated a different person, this person, yes. So today, so it's just a man of history. Yes. Waited for six years. Yes, so, I mean, 2014. The, the thing has gone back but to the Adoba Euro family. Also, mm. we must give it to Sanusi himself. He came out to say, well, he's, he's happy. He was able to spend six years on mm. that throne, yes. and he advised people support the new man in charge. He mm. is not contesting that. It is God who gives power. And if and he has to let's take wait, it, let's see whether he will not contest. Yeah, well, but at it's least a matter he was, of time. Mm. He was able to mm. dial the brief, whatever attention. The so brief will give to his lawyer. See, the thing when, the people we now, when mm. people begin to call you, talk to you, talk to you, mm. later mm. on, you may even take your, your, your advice. Yeah. You just hear that, look, I was I was dethroned the, uh, wrongly. Yeah. And then you hear. I think we are already saying that. Just outside his We are already saying contesting banishment. That's how it started yesterday. But today, no, I'm the first thing seen. his lawyer said was that reversal is possible. That was the first thing that that but lawyer said. He, came he and said, said reversal he, is yeah. possible. Yeah. Hmm. You know, so don't be surprised if they, uh, you know, lawyers now, they, they are the ones who will come to you and say, look, you, you can win. You can cases, win. If you can go you and visit the Supreme Court to reverse itself. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, who can't you convince? Ah, lawyers. <laughs> yeah, well, the can't the can the can the can the can <laughs> situation is a litmus test for mm. even our laws. Okay. Now, somebody will challenge by this one. Yes, I, I think that was um, the last feed, uh, live feed from Kano State, mm. the new um, mm. Emir of Kano. Be given the staff of office by Governor Abdullahi um, yeah, Gandhiji. That's, 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 the, the, that's the governor sitting beside the, the, the new yeah. Emir. Yeah, that's the two of them. Um, the shots. They are both uh, men of destiny. I mean, they, if uh, uh, Gandhiji witnessed uh, Sanusi's uh, coronation as his deputy governor, yeah. and he's now uh, the one handing over staff of office to a new one in a stretch of six years. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think by the time they are about time, the staff of office will come back to them. Mm -hmm. So let's move on with the program. Still to come, the governor of Oyo State, Sheyi Makinde, signs a Moteku bill into law, wants criminals to stay clear. Of Southwest. We'll be right back after this timeout. Stay with us. Welcome back. It's your multi award winning program, Journalist Hangout. We're reaching you live from Television Continental here in an headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. The Southwest Security Initiative and Moteku is gradually taking shape. The Oyo State Governor, Sheyi Makinde, has signed the State Security Network Agency Bill 2020, codenamed and Moteku Corp, into law following. Its passage by the State House of Assembly, he became the second governor to do so in the region after Governor Lua Roti Makeridolu of Ondo State put signature on the state's version. At the signing ceremony in Ibarra, Governor Makinde said he and his colleagues have option than to secure, no option than to secure the people warning criminals to stay off the Southwest. Now, this the dream is becoming um, a reality for Bajiri. Day yes. by day. Now, starting, it has been signed into law in Ondo State, signed into law in Oyo State, and we also expect four other states from the Southwest region mm -hmm. to follow suit. Yeah. Yes, um, I was trying to read the powers of the board because uh, there will be a board uh, for it, and it says the set. Certain general the board, set, certain general policy guidelines for the management of the agency, setting the administrative guidelines for the conditions and welfare of staff of the agency, making recommendations to the governor on the terms and conditions of employment and remuneration of staff of the agency, approving programs of training for members and other staff of the agency for effectiveness and efficiency in the performance of their functions under this law. Providing a graded command structure for the Amotekun Corps, 
designing and approving the uniform of the different grades of the Amotekun Corps, appointing suitable persons as members of the Amotekun Corps, promoting and disciplining the staff of the agency, removing or deleting from the register the name of an Amotekun Corps member if, one, the member is unfit to discharge the functions of the Amotekun Corps by reason of infirmity or misconduct, or he withdraws in writing from being a member of the Amotekun Corps and fostering relationship between the agency and similar organizations. So clearly... Those are guidelines. Yes. And it is the responsibility of the board to, so make, sure that, to, to make sure that the agency is on a sound footing and is effectively run. So yeah. issues relating to discipline and even those who can get into the Amotekun mm -hmm. Corps in Oyo State, you can see that this law has already stipulated uh, how uh, things will be done. Because a lot of people have said, oh, who and who can become an Amotekun um, uh, member? And many people are truly worried that it could be um, infested in inverted commas by all kinds of people. But as we can see, yeah. the law already um, permits the board to advise the governor on the caliber of people that can get into the mm. court. So they've taken care of things that uh, Nigerians were worried about. That's the issue of even training um, mm. and uh, membership of the court. They have already taken care of it. Mm through this law that uh, that the, the uh, governor just uh, just been, uh, um, uh, passed. So this is the thing. Uh, it's a good thing that more and more of those of the Southwest governors are giving the assent to Amotekun. Mm -hmm. It shows that the Southwest is united mm -hmm. on this, the on the issue of security of our people. They are united and we have to commend those governors for their doggedness the and, and the for state of assembly too. the mm. Ondo governor for providing leadership, leadership. to his colleagues. Mm. You know, mm. everyone, we want our, our, our communities to be safe. And mm. if Amotekun will assist the police to make our communities safe, so be, it. so be it. We are not going to quarrel with that. Dari, I spoke with the director general of the Dawn Commission, Mr. Shaya Oyele, yesterday. And he informed me, um, Don Commission is in charge of, you know, the South 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 six of, uh, and informed me that presently now the recruitment, uh, recruitment is, you know, ongoing across the six states, mm -hmm. and it's done at the grassroots level. Mm -hmm. They will ask you to go and get a letter from your ballet. Mm -hmm. Your ballet must know you. The person grassroots, mm -hmm. the, the, you can't be a stranger, and you want mm -hmm. to come mm -hmm. from Ikorodu mm -hmm. to do a moteko in in Ikorodu. Fantastic so approach. It's a grass bottom approach. Yeah. It's going to the bottom up mm. from what they have designed. And uh, the first thing I want to comment, we must also say that the bill or the law as mm. designed in Oyo, mm. in Ondo, mm. in Ekiti mm. are very, very similar. Yes, mm. they are. The differences are very, very negligible. Mm. Like the, in the area of recruitment, promotion, training, it's exactly the same thing. Mm. It's they are, the chain of command, too. Each state will have its own commander. Then there is a collaboration, mm. most likely to be supervised by the Dan Commission now. The collaboration, the way it is going to uh, form out. Now, let's look at one key area people are concerned about, recruitment. Who will be an American operative? Anybody? The law has said that. No. You must be a non-community volunteer. Mm. The first thing you will do in that order is you first go and volunteer in your own community mm. through your uh, local head, be it a ballet or a king, mm. who should be able to Identify issue a letter of identification about for you that we know him. These are his antecedents. Yeah. Then you are going to go through security clearance. Mm. The police in your community, maybe the DPO, or the police com uh, relations committee mm -hmm. must also uh, affirm that mm -hmm. you are without criminal uh, mm -hmm. record. It is only when you scale mm -hmm. those uh, process that you cannot present yourself with those 
attestations from your people back home that I want to be part of securing my community. So it is a very, very brilliant uh, approach that is removing all our worries. Okay. And I, I may just want to add now that other governors should be speedy about mm -hmm. signing this thing into law so that we can move to the next stage. Already, mm -hmm. the issue of recruitment is being taken care of here and there. But mm -hmm. others should append their seat. It's not something we should delay. And we should not be uh, different in the approach. Two governors have signed. Mm -hmm. And then I want to commend your, your people. There is this saying that uh, Aji Shebi or You see, the drama they are also adding to the mm -hmm. Amateku thing is, is giving some well, sense, um, of, sense of... Members uh, of the uh, State uh, House of yes, Assembly and... Sense of uh, unity. Governor. Unity. Mm -hmm. I will expect day. that uh, at the presentation, all the six governors should come out like this and carry their hunter's bag. Even when they did the public hearing. Yeah, the public hearing, they all came like this. Yes. I did too, they were... Uh, yeah, the so let all our lawmakers in the Southwest come. They should be, they should be the I first layer. I think this layer. is the material I'm, trending I'm, now in the Southwest. I'm reading the law. I'm if reading I, part of I, the law. I'm, I'm looking for this material. If one can <laughs> sew a very big agada to attend the, <laughs> the, the, the public presentation. So the, the law also stipulates how the Amotekun Corps uh, commander shall be appointed. Mm -hmm. And it says the Amotekun Corps commander shall be appointed for a term of four years mm -hmm. in the first instance and may be eligible for reappointment for one further term of four years. Mm -hmm. The Amotekun Corps commander may be removed from office by the governor, mm -hmm. subject to the resolution of the majority of the members of the House of Assembly mm -hmm. on the ground of ab a abuse of office or willful violation of the fundamental human right of any person mm -hmm. as contained in Chapter 4 of the Constitution mm -hmm. of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which means that the governor cannot just willfully remove or appoint. the Amotekun Corps commander. You have to recourse to the State House of Assembly. There has to be a resolution of the House, House of Assembly. So, so, yes. so, so he cannot mm -hmm. force him to do his bidding. Either. Yes, yes. It cannot be used this for will, political... Yes, this will ensure that, okay, at least the issue of them being used for political is, 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 is addressed. Is this is the minimum. Uh -huh. And this also says that misconduct or misbehavior that he... He has conducted himself in a manner we have, um, which brings, it. or is likely to bring the Amotekun core into hatred or ridicule. Oh, yeah. okay. So these well, are reasons hmm. why how it can be removed. We, we have the a, is talking. A, a, live, a live feed from the new Emir from Kano. Okay. So that's it. That's history. History made in Kano. Another, uh, uh, we okay. we wish him the best of luck. And, uh, and uh, peace may peace reign in in, uh, the Emirates. in, in, in Kano during his time. Hmm. The Kano people will say that uh, they, they describe their 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 city as Tumbingiwa, that is the belly, the belly of the elephants. Mm -hmm. That there's nothing you, you you want to see in Kano that is not there. Yeah, not there. Mm -hmm. And they will say, call them a Kazo Amfika, that no matter what you come with, no matter what you think you are made of, mm -hmm. you will match. find your match. Because you people are uh, stronger than you. Mm -hmm. So they will say, call them a Kazo Amfika. Mm -hmm. So that is Kano mm -hmm. for you. Uh, it's a happy day uh, in Kano. We have a new Emmy, and we hope that this time we will shine progress for that state. Congratulations to the people of Kano, mm -hmm. everybody, for the peaceful so. um, tran transition. Now, going back to Amoteku, Babajide, mm -hmm. now, when you look at, like, Lagos now, Lagos is going to transform um, the neighborhood watch mm -hmm. to Amoteku. That's, in, that's what is in that bill. Mm -hmm. uh, from what that's I've seen, okay, you okay. can enlighten in, us. In Lagos, the Amoteku core. Mm. Is now a will be a unit of the neighborhood core. Okay, a unit. A unit that of is what uh, okay. the neighborhood core will remain. Now, okay, mm. but the Amotepo core will be on its own with its own commander. 
But to be accommodated in the law, it is a unit of the uh, neighbor, Lagos State Neighborhood Court. Okay. It is a unit. Okay. It's the the Neighborhood Court is not transforming. Okay. okay. But Amateko stays as a unit of that call. Now, my question mm. is that, you know, when we have security, special unit, that's security challenges, mm. um, let's say if I'm leaving Lagos now, I'm going to Ibadan. Yes. Lagos Ibadan Express Road mm. is going to be a place to watch out for. Mm. Lagos to Shagamu, from Shagamu yes. to Ogere, mm. from Ogere to yes. Ibadan. You're in another yeah. state, right? Mm? Once, once you get to us, you get mm. Yes, uh, yeah. but they, they still have their own Amateko stock. They have. Mm. And that, yes. that's where I don't expect them to be operating within the states. No. I, I go about the boundaries that it's, you it's, have, it's, it's, what security they are saying, challenges. That's what they meant. In, if you check the law in Lagos, mm. I've read it also in uh, Gun, in Oyo. They talked about inter-relationship. Okay. Okay. So okay. even in the Amateko court, there will be those who will man border communities. Okay. So okay. those manning That's border communities I'm, in Lagos and about. those manning border communities in Ogun will now interrelate. Yeah, they will interface. Oh, they will interface. Inter thank you. Okay. Then they said every monthly or as the commanders may deem fit, they must meet all the commanders. Mm. It's in all the laws. That okay. they, they, they said either monthly or as they may deem okay. fit, they must meet to, to exchange intelligence. To exchange yes. intelligence. So and the way there are people who are fond of committing crime here and yeah. running away. And yeah. running away. You see, if you, if you so look at the laws. So once you into that state, they are, you are yeah, there is the, 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 the South, Southwest Legislative Review Committee, mm. which is made up of all the majority leaders that worked on the final draft of this thing, mm. also deserves some kudos. What they were able to take care of is, uh, yes, we have it in our states. How do we make it work together? You can't commit crime in Lagos mm. and you just think you will escape into Ogijo, oh, oh, which is a neighboring town. Mm. In, beside the ground, you commit in Ikorodu, like all these courtesans, they strike in Ikorodu and move into Ogijo to hibernate, only to come back later. So with Amoteko border patrols, mm. you will be easily fished out because they, they can even exchange men and intelligence mm. to get mm. this thing done. Mm. So mm. what we really need to do is encourage this initiative and give it a long rope. I will want to beg the media and the people Let's give it a long rope. It and is a have, new thing. You know thing. one thing that I also found mm. there is that the police commissioner in the state, mm. the police commissioner in the state shall be very much uh, involved, involved of, in oh, the operations of, 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 of Amoteko. Mm. You know, because um, what, they are, what Amoteko represents um, the success of the government's community policing initiative. Yeah. Now, you can't do community policing without no, working yeah. hand in hand with the police yes. because it's even uh, an initiative of the, the, uh, uh, the current IG. Mm -hmm. Now, the commissioner of police, they've designed it in a way so that the, the police will not think that these guys yeah, are on their own multi, uh, or they are, they are in competition with us. With us. Mm -hmm. So, the commissioner of police is, or yeah, is, is deemed is, a is member. Involved. Of the so board. it's involved in the operations, mm -hmm. whatever they are doing, they, they, they work in tandem with the police, they carry the police along, that way they won't be And then there is also one aspect of it that I read that I'm sure maybe they will give us further explanation, is the only of prosecution. Mm -hmm. they, 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 from what I understand, what I saw, that it's going to be jointly done by Amateko Corps and the police. While the po police may go and prosecute, the Amateko Corps who carried out the arrest or whatever, is a witness. Mm, okay. Gone are the days when Pidinate will hand over a, a criminal and you're asked to go. No. And, and they will also have a legal advisor. Legal advisor. Who will be a, 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 a state counsel on mm. grade level 13. Good. Mm. So you shall be, re be, shall be responsible to the core commander uh -huh. in so the what, discharge of his duty. Of his duty. Well thought out. Mm. In, in fact, all, so all, the the areas, work. all the fears have, have read, been addressed. I have read like mm. three, four of those bills mm. and laws now. Some are now laws, some are still bills. And I realized that the Southwest, in fact, we should give ourselves some flags, kudos, in setting these kind of agendas. It will not be easy for others to easily, you know, I mean, come into these, have their own regional uh, initiatives and it works smoothly. And when they arrest, they must hand over to the police mm. and indicate the police station where the criminal is and and over. And so they are going to and work they are involved the in prosecution. They are involved. Mm -hmm. 
And then when there is a state owner, the funds, they must the, be the first witness. The funds and resources of the agency shall consist of subventions from the state, mm -hmm. gifts and donations from individuals and corporate mm -hmm. bodies, grant from security trust fund, and any other money or property which may be in any in any way become payable to or vested in mm -hmm. the agency. So they've also taken care of funding. Even funding. funding so was a concern. We'll visit, we'll visit it again immediately after the six yeah, um, governors finish, yeah, sign yeah, and yeah. Um, when they start the operation fully. It's a running story. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah, running yeah, story. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Dario Dupa, thank you. Thank you for your contribution today. Thanks. And BKO. Thanks. And that's uh, where we drop anchor on today's program. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast tomorrow by 11. This today by 11, and you can watch Journalist Hangouts on our platforms showing on the screen. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. Our feedback channel is Journalist Hangouts at TVC News.tv. And my audio is welcome. Bye for now. God bless Nigeria. Hmm?